Hello, it's Mrs. Murdoch, and I wanted to go over the karyotyping activity that I actually had assigned to you a little while ago. Um, many of you tried to do it, and I'm really proud of you, um, but I think, um, I think I'm just going to make this video to make it a little bit more clear how to handle the website. So when you open the website, you get this karyotype activity, and you get these patient histories, patient A, patient B, patient C. So the first thing to do is you click on the patient A karyotype and they'll give you all of these chromosomes what you but what you'll notice here is that there are chromosomes missing and what they want is for you to finish it so for example they give you a chromosome here and they ask you to match where it is supposed to go and if you see these bright blue things here anything that's bright blue is showing one of the chromosomes that's missing a pair so this nice big chromosome here, actually I believe is this person, this chromosome's homologous partner, so I'm going to go and click on the two, and yes, that one belonged there. Then they give you a new one, this little baby one here, and that one looks like it might go with 16 right here, so yes, that was the 16's homologous pair. Here's another one, so that one looks an awful lot like 12, so I'm going to try it at 12, yes, that's the right one. Uh, and then I have this big long one here, and I think maybe that goes with this one here number five so I'm going to click on that and yes that was it now there's one more little tiny one and so that looks like it might go here at 21 see that even though 21 already has two let's see if that works and yes that is correct so then it goes away and you're thinking oh where did the karyotype go and how am I supposed to do the next thing well I think that's where people maybe got a little confused so let me show you uh, you successfully completed patient A's karyotype. Now you need to interpret the karyotype and make a diagnosis. But what they don't tell you is you need to scroll down to find your finished karyotype. Here it is, right? You, maybe you couldn't see that before. So I wanted to make sure that you saw that now. So here's patient A's karyotype, right? You finished it. You clicked them all into place. And what you should notice, this is the classic example of where there are three chromosomes here at pair 21 when there should only be two. And because I know you're really smart, you probably remember, ah, that's Down syndrome. Yes. So your diagnosis is Down syndrome. Your chromosome condition is going to be, instead of 46 chromosomes, you would say, oh, well, there are 47 because, see, there's an X21 here, right? So you would write, for the chromosome condition, you would write 47 and then you need to write what the sex chromosomes are, which could be either XX as a female or XY as a male. And since both of these chromosomes are the same size, this is an XX. So it would be 47XX with an extra chromosome 21. So 47XX for patient A, and then Down syndrome as the diagnosis. And what they don't really do very well, and I understand, some of you actually wrote part of the history as if they were symptoms. And it, that's not really very accurate. So what I'm going to ask you is to just look up some symptoms for Down syndrome. They're very easy to find on the internet and write down some symptoms. You know, what, what does the patient look like? What kinds of things happen to, to people as they grow older if they have Down syndrome? You can find that and then put it in that first box that says symptoms, right? Okay. So then how do you get back to complete and go back to the rest of it? Well, so what you do is down here, once you've figured out your karyotype and you figured out that, here we go, um, down syndrome goes with trisomy 21, extra chromosome 21, you want to go to the next patient. So you're going to go back to patient histories, and then it takes you back to ABC, and then you go into patient B and do the exact same thing again, okay? So I just wanted to show you that and also make sure that you know where to go to find this assignment. So if you go to our course, if you're in period six, let's just open period six, period seven, uh, eight, you look the same. If you go down over here to the right, um, I think that might already be gone because it was already due, but what you do is you look up course materials, and that was a heredity assignment, and it was in summative materials, and if you look in there, there's the karyotyping activity. I'm still accepting them because I think people had some trouble and some people who really tried and gave it the college try um, need to try again. 
and and I'm taking resubmissions for this because I want you all to get the right idea out of this and everybody gets 100. OK, so if you open that, um, your paper winds up looking like like this. Right. There's the worksheet. You can click on that to actually get to that same website where I just was. You type in the description, which you would have to look up. Remember, patient A was Down syndrome, right? Down syndrome goes here. Down syndrome. Chromosomal condition. Normal is 46 XY for a male. Our Down syndrome was a girl and she had 47 and XX. That's what should go here. Description. Look up Down syndrome and write down what kinds of things Down syndrome people have as symptoms, right? So that's, those are the things that you need to do for each patient. And I hope that that, that, helpful, that is helpful. Uh, and now that you'll have a better, uh, better idea of how to do that. And you can just do that right at home and resubmit it and go for 100. Go for A plus every time. So um, I hope that was helpful.